Albert Einstein once said, in the middle of every difficulty lies opportunity. I'm sure that all of us at some point have found difficulty in our design lives. Maybe for you it was the demands of a harsh environment, or maybe it was the need for less components and a lower bomb, or maybe it was supply chain issues bubbling up again. So how do we take these challenges and turn them into opportunities? Connectors. That's Al. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Connectors can make a big difference when it comes to reducing system complexity and ease of use. But did you know they can also help with automation and sustainability as well? In this episode of Chalk Talk, Anita Costamagna from TE Connectivity joins me to discuss TE's APL connectivity solutions. We dig into the details of these connector solutions and how you can get started using these connector solutions in your next design. And before we go, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from TE Connectivity. Hi, Anita. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks to you. Okay, so we're talking about TE's APL today. But before we dig into the details, Anita, what kind of trends are you seeing in the electronics industry these days? Well, there are surely a lot of industry trends and macro trends out there in the market. But I would say that thanks to TE APL presence into different verticals, we are able to talk with several different vertical markets and different OEMs and get also their experience and their pain points, etc. So we were able to group a little bit those mega trends, which affect the electronics industry into four macro areas. The first one is related to performance, the second one to sustainability, then we have smart and easy of use, and then affordability and health and safety. Of course, all those megatrends would then be translated into more specific challenges or needs from any kind of specific market. So, for example, from a performance standpoint, we can think about miniaturization of products or harsh environment applications, and of course, reliability. And what concerns health and safety is related not only to the operator safety, but back again to ergonomics and user safety, et cetera, et cetera. So we have prepared ourselves, let me say, in investing our efforts in terms of the technology development and product development to really reply to those macro trends out there in the market, which are then specific OEM and customer needs, basically. I'm sure my audience knows about TE Connectors. But you guys have a broad portfolio of other solutions as well, right? Yeah, for sure. Our range of products starts from connectors, power and signal. Then we go to terminals and splices, relays, tubing, magnet wire connections, and sensors. And all our products have been developed thanks to our investments in technologies, which start from molding to stamping to advanced plating. We constantly invest also our attention into improving, for example, our assembly lines and into our testing labs, which are definitely certified and really reliable. And we can talk about our investigations in terms of new materials or evolution of material usage and material molding. And overall, all these technologies that we have been learning and investing on keep feeding the improvements on our current products and current solutions. As well as we have an advanced engineering team that uh, is able to integrate different components one with the others. And what do I mean by that? Practically, in the market, normally, for example, the sensor manufacturers provide to their customers only the sensing element. And then the customer has to design the case for the sensor and the connection with wires and connectors themselves to allow the sensor to be integrated into their system. Well, we can do that for our customers, thanks to our experience and knowledge of sensor portfolio, as well as the knowledge of the final applications and customer needs. And of course, thanks to our connection and terminals portfolio, which we can combine together to offer a tailor-made solution if needed to our customers. So what kind of drivers are you seeing pushing innovation today? I would say that probably we can concentrate on these drivers that are shown here. So starting from performance, 
which in terms of connection and connectivity means request for higher thermal management. You can mention, for example, high temperature and higher current needs. For sure, increased levels of quality and testing that I was already mentioning before that we definitively apply in our labs. For example, TE is testing flammability requirements of our connectors, not only starting from the raw materials, as all the others do, but really performing those tests into the connector itself. We have constant requests on error-proof prevention as well as modularization, which is definitely a driver, mainly in the mid to small customers served by distribution, for example. As a second driver, we should focus on health and safety. This is not only related and coming from pandemics, of course, that has changed our lives in in the past couple of years, but was there at TE very clear and present also before and will continue to be. And for us, what it means, it means ergonomics, it means attention to the operator and also to the different regulations in that sense that are present in the different countries of the world. So imagine an operator that has to assemble every day thousands and thousands of connectors with his fingers. Well, our connectors and terminals are designed to avoid that any operator gets harmed by managing those uh, connections every day. Or we can mention, for example, anti-explosive products such as relays. And of course, the end user safety, which goes together with the quality and reliability of our components is one of our first drivers every day. As a third driver, a third request from the market, we can mention sustainability. That is not only linked to green products, of course, which are granted by safe processes and compliant to major regulations, but also goes into a request of more and more flame retardant uh, products, for example, as well as the products and applications which help saving energy consumption, which of course belongs and depends from the end application, but also can be influenced into the type of connection and the type of currents that the customers are deciding to use in their applications. And of course, we can help them improving and being more efficient also in that sense. As a fourth driver, we should focus on the ease of use, which goes together with the complexity management, so portfolio management, SKU reduction. We offer, of course, error-proof connections and also pre-assembled options, which again, help our customers simplify their bill of material. Affordability is probably a driver that goes along all the different industries. So very nice to have a super performing product, which is compliant to regulations and helps operators stay safe and provide a sustainable product. But what about the cost? The cost overall of a solution is influenced by several factors. So it's not only like for like comparison with a competitor solution, but it's also constant research in terms of miniaturization and increase of density of connections, where we are also betting a lot of our efforts, proposing connections for multi-applications, helping our customers to reduce their wire size so that they would save costs not only on the connection itself, but also on the wires. And of course, help them to have a faster processing that reduce basically their time to market and also the total cost of ownership of a certain product. I would imagine these market drivers are presenting us with a unique set of challenges. Yeah, definitely it's, it's like that. And for today, I picked up five examples of challenges that we constantly receive from our end customers and proposed some solutions that we worked on together with our customers, in some cases with off-shelf products, in some other cases with more customized one. But I would say that they are all listed here. So harsh environment usage for connectors and therefore harsh environment application of our products, research for quality at the right cost, then complexity reduction, lead time reduction, and elimination of uh, single source independence and automation and simplification for reduction of the total cost of ownership. And we do have kind of a solution or a set of products to propose to solve those challenges. Let's dig into that first challenge you mentioned, harsh environments. What kind of solutions does TE offer in this space? 
Of course, we do have several available solutions that can be applicable to our environment. We named, for example, the high temperatures application. But for today, I wanted to propose you a set of water and flame retardant uh, products that in fact prevent water and dust to come in contact with the electronics part of an end application. This example is fitting into HVAC, I mean, water heating and ventilation. It's a full set of sealed products. And what it means, basically it means a connection which is IP rated, so it prevents humidity, water, or even dust to come in contact with the terminals themselves. There are different ways to reach the same waterproofness performance in an electronics system. It can be utilizing potting, for example, or using plastic cases where to hide and protect your PC board. But all these solutions would require more than one operation at the customer premise. So basically, you need to assemble your PC board or you need to assemble your wire-to-wire connection and then put it into a case or put potting into the PC board. On the other side, this type of uh, TE solution, I mean the sealed connectors, they come already with sealing. So the only operation that the customer has to perform is the mating of the plug with the housing. And having an interface seal and also seals on the wire side I mean, the connection is perfectly waterproof. And we have several different solutions from the signal double lock waterproof version to the universal mate and lock to the power versa lock. They can be wire to wire, wire to board, wire to panel, managing different types of currents, of course, and having different center lines according to the customer need. But they all come with sales. So in one unique operation, you have a completely waterproof solution Some of them are EP57, some of them reach up to IP67, which is very high water protection. Or an alternative, we have a different technology, which is related to our heat shrinking tubes, which offer not only mechanical protection, but also waterproofness. So in some cases, certain customers prefer to perform the connection and then to apply the heat shrinking tubing outside the connection itself to have it protected mechanically and from water and dust as well. So what about that second challenge, quality? How is TE tackling this issue? Well, in several different ways. Of course, one of our value propositions is quality at first step. However, I wanted to talk to you about this uh, solution because I really think it's a fantastic way to deliver a better process, a better connection at a higher quality level and more competitive in cost. Thinking about all the end markets that use electric motors, we can start imagining automotive and all the claim for e-vehicles. We can think about uh, building equipments and HVAC. We can think about motors in appliance, in industrial machinery, in rail, et cetera, et cetera. All of these end markets would use in different functions a specific electric motor that can be a valve, an ignition coil, a fan motor, a washer motor, a solenoid, etc., etc. All these motors would use a magnetic wire. Nowadays, majority of the market is still connecting that motor and the magnetic wire through a soldering process. However, as we know, soldering is a process that changes the thermal and physical performances of the magnetic wire itself, by definition. And for this reason, it often delivers quality problems and is a process that is not so well repeatable, let me say. From TE, we do have a couple of solutions. One is called Amplivar, the other one is called Magmate, which are in fact the connectors or splices, if you prefer which deliver a better connection for the magnetic wire to the rest of the system in terms of quality, because it's a repeatable process. It's performed by automatic machines, which not only perform the connection, but also check the proper combination of the wire with the connector itself and check the electrical stability of the connection. And it's quicker than soldering, which means that as an overall benefit, the customer would get higher quality connection of their motor to the rest of the system at a lower total cost. Depending on the type of connection that you use or or that the customer would decide to use, we can 
combine up to three magnet wires together or even combine magnetic wire with stranded lead wires together. And on top of that, it can also be used with aluminum. So not only copper magnet wires, but also aluminum magnet wires can be connected via this technology, which definitely opens up the opportunity for the end customers to save money if they're willing to convert the copper wire into aluminum. I believe complexity reduction was the third issue you mentioned. So what are you guys doing in this arena? We do talk every day since years with a lot of harness makers acting in different vertical markets. Some of them work for appliances, some of them work for automotive, some of them work for industrial and customers, but all of them come to us with the same complaint in brackets. They have a lot of complexity to be managed within their plants and, and production. And this comes from the wide variety of customers that they serve as well as from the wide variety of connections and terminals that those customers would select for their harnesses. So really listening to the voice of the customers, we have developed two solutions. They are called the 2D Faston Terminals and the 2D Amplivar, which are basically relying on a technology, on a crimping technology that unblocks and allows to use the same type of terminal in a very wide variety of AWG range from 22 to 12, using the same terminal. Up to now, each of the different AWG ranges required a different terminal, and each change in terms of terminal would require a changeover in the production at the harness maker for the applicator that creams that terminal. This is not going to be needed anymore with the use of the 2D Fasten and 2D Amplifier because the customers will be able to crimp this very broad variety of wire size with a unique terminal and a unique applicator that allows the customers to reduce, based on our average sales calculation, around 66% of their bill of material, which for sure will strengthen also their bargaining power, concentrating more their demand in smaller amount of SKUs. And on the other side, one of the major savings is that they will not have to perform any changeover in the production. So with one same applicator and the same terminal, they'll be able to cover very broad range, probably majority of their production. And this is bringing definitely a benefit not only to the harness makers themselves, which will save money, but also to the end customers, which will receive better offers from their suppliers. Supply chain challenges are a big issue today as well, right? How is TE looking to help solve these concerns? Well, we have been living in the last uh, years an amazing peak of demand, which is very good for us, of course, and for our customers. On the other side, it has been creating a lot of disruption and supply chain issues and longer lead times in terms of raw material availability, et cetera, et cetera. So several of our customers are coming to us asking for flexible enough solutions that could reduce or help them reducing the lead times, as well as eliminating the dependency on single sourcing. These two product lines that I'm mentioning here, the Economy Power 2.5 and the Value Lock, are really one-size-fits-all type of product. I mean, really flexible, really simple really competitive, and at the same time, they are intermatable with similar competitor products so that the customers could act on retrofitting their applications. The Economy Power 2.5 is a signal product, 2.5 millimeter pitch, 4.2 amps, while the Value Lock is a power product, so delivers 4.2 millimeter pitch. And both of them are, as I said, intermatable with competitors' application. The value lock on top has also an optional TPA, Terminal Position Assurance, which allows this product to be applied also in high vibration environment if needed. As I said, the application range is very broad. I put here some robotic mowers so they can be used in robotics and at the same time on winding machines, for example, so industrial machinery. They are really the perfect fit product to any kind of use, uh, and on top of these are also flammable proof. The last challenge you mentioned was automation. Can we take a closer look at this aspect as well? Yeah, this is one of my favorite product lines since it delivers really 
cost improvement to our customers is a switch of technologies. If you see on the right side, there is a picture of the so-called spaghetti harness that was the standard, I would say, up to some years ago, prior the invention of the Rust connection system. Rust is definitely a standard. It was born in EMEA from uh, white good manufacturers, which created this standard, but is now widely adopted in HVAC water eaters, at the same time also in APAC region and in Americas is raising up. Why? Well, the reason is very simple. This type of IDC connection, insulation displacement, allows the usage of very automatic machines. And we do have ST a complete offer, not only in connectors from the RAS 2.5 up to the RAS 5 versions, but also we develop and manufacture our own Rust machines. The major benefits of these products is basically the fact that they help the customer in reducing the number of components that they have to use and that they perform with a single connection at the application level, multiple pins. The same function that was done in the past using several different terminals of different size and typology today can be simplified using only one connector with high amount of positions that is processed by a semi-automatic or a super-automatic machine. So basically, it helps shortening, again, the number of components that the customers are using and also reducing the total cost because producing a harness into a semi-auto or an automatic machine is really, really fast. So will allow also the harness maker, again, to be more competitive in their production of the harnesses, but also the OEM, because at their assembly place, they will have to perform only one connection instead of 10 or maybe 12. Can we dig into some examples? What about the industrial application you mentioned earlier? Our products are well-fitting several different types of application. And if we think about industrial machines, for example, from the printing machines to the winding machine that I was showing before, stamping or engraving machines, they are all designed and they all use connectors, terminals and splices, heat shrinking tubes and relays. And all our product portfolio can perfectly fit into those type of end application. In case the end customer needs sealing for any reason, because maybe the production side has a certain humidity level and they want to avoid a continuous maintenance or avoid using other types of waterproofness solution, we have the sealed products. In terms of reliability, we are constantly working and improving into higher power connectors. We do offer special locking mechanisms and vibration resistant solution, which are also extremely useful in the industrial machinery type. Miniaturization, in case of need, in case of smaller machines, which of course would use more compact connectors. Simplification, as we saw with the IDC solutions that we have. And safety, of course. So not safety, which is not only ergonomic design, that is means the safety for the operator who assembles the machine, but also safety standards, because any type of machinery and any different end market would have its own requirements, and our products would reply to those requirements at the same time. Another application example that we could show is definitely the HVAC, and here there are some examples of water heaters and air conditioning together with all the subsystems that compose uh, as a standard of those applications. So we have an eating element, we can have harnesses and power cords, of course, we have sensors, valves, fan and pumps, and PC boards. And our portfolio is complete to reply to the needs of those subcomponents and uh, subsystems. From the terminals that can be applied to the harness up to the rust that can drive the PC board design. And on top of that, may allow the customer again to save money in case they want to choose a direct PC board connection. On top of this, we saw at the beginning, for example, all the sealed products that we have from the signal double lock to the power versa lock that often are used in this type of application because they have uh, typically a humid side and the customer wants to prevent and avoid humidity or water to come into the dry side. And definitely using those connectors, this can be an easy solution to overcome 
the need and the use of overmolded connections. And then if we want to move to a third application example, which is probably one of the most popular nowadays, we can talk about EV charging stations. And here we have, again, different subsystems, which are normally manufactured by different players. So we can talk about the power module or the control module or the HMI or the fence where our APL products would perfectly fit, making different functions clearly. So this is also a field of continuous investigation that we are putting our efforts into. To recap, what does the APL product line bring to the table? Well, I would say overall, uh, our products are extremely flexible. So it's hard from a certain perspective to really identify a unique field of application which on the other side is the benefit, the major benefits that customers who choose to start a journey with TAPL would benefit from. So our product lines summarizing can be identified into power connectors and signal connectors, terminals and splices, relay, magnet wire termination, and each shrinking tubes. And of course, each of them is probably a little bit more popular in a certain application rather than the other. For example, each shrinking tubes are really typical from an ICT industry or industrial. Magnet wire terminations are really typical for any kind of motor manufacturer. Terminal and slices are extremely wide in terms of application. You can think about small home appliances and again, HVAC or automotive. Power and signal can go, again, from industrial application to drones, to lighting, to garden tools, et cetera, et cetera. And relays, I mean, applied on a PC board of any kind of an application. So I think that uh, really APL products can offer a really competitive and a really flexible solution for any type of industry, thinking about also our major expertise, which are in the flammable proof materials, which are required more and more in several different uh, types of applications. Excellent. Well, Anita, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from TE Connectivity. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.